Hello there. Today, we're going to take a look at Ubuntu Budgie. So, a few uh, weeks ago, I was refreshing all my ISOs and taking a look at what Ubuntu had that was brand new. I'm mostly a Fedora, Red Hat, and CentOS type of household, but I do keep Ubuntu around here and there. Sometimes it's useful to try it out and see how they do things differently. Sometimes their software that comes out only for Ubuntu, although more and more that's becoming less of an issue thanks to um, snaps and flat packs. So when I was looking on the Ubuntu site, I saw something called Ubuntu Budgie, and I thought to myself, Budgie, what in the world is that? I've never heard of that. I've heard of XFCE, and GNOME, and KDE, and Qtile, and i3, and a bunch of other window managers, but I've never heard of Budgie before. So, and here it tells us that this is the Budgie desktop environment, and it's designed with a modern user in mind. And I guess it's using GK, GTK underneath, so that's interesting. There's definitely been a huge surge recently in people trying to reimagine the desktop and find a way to make it simpler and easier to use. We seem to have finally moved away from the Windows 8 slash GNOME 3.0 paradigm of expecting everything to be touchscreen and tablet based, but I don't think we've settled yet on a new paradigm. Even Windows with Windows 11 is kind of just more of Windows 10 which is just more of the same old Windows since Windows 95. So looking here, it looks like they're saying... All right, so it looks like it's it's, an, it's a menu from above. Uh, it, it seems to be kind of uh, Macintosh inspired. Um, or maybe you could even say it's kind of um, Gnome 2 with its top menu that it used to have, combined with a couple other technologies there. But the, the, you know, the question is, where are we going with desktops now? What's the new paradigm that makes sense? And can anything that's not the Windows paradigm or the Mac paradigm win? Because that's what people are used to. And most people are gonna be coming from one of those desktops, right? Almost no one's gonna be coming clean into Linux Perhaps, maybe, in some uh, countries, uh, if the people want to respect the licensing and they don't have a lot of money, they may decide to check out something like Linux to begin with. But I think most people are going to either start with Windows, or actually nowadays, Chromebook is probably going to be an introduction for a lot of people. And to some degree, you know, fair, because you can do almost everything in a web browser now. Although I do tend to prefer um, desktop applications most of the time. There are some times where it doesn't really matter. I do say, you know, when it comes to things like video editing, photo editing, I prefer not to have to upload things just to work on them. And even with email, there's something about an email program that I like better than a web design. And there are others in the same boat because that's the whole point behind the, uh, I can't remember if it's Geary or Genie, but um, a uh, web browser that I think was invented for GNOME or maybe elementary, I'm not 100% sure. Even System76, um, I got my daughter a laptop from them. They're moving towards their own GUI that's written in Rust, although as of right now, it seems like it's going to be kind of uh, very similar to GNOME, just not requiring extensions for everything. Uh, that, of course, is one of the big reasons why I prefer KDE to GNOME. They seem to have removed everything and then everything's an add-on, which makes it a little more kludgy. It's funny, I was just thinking while I was running this weekend how Big Buck Bunny is now the default 
anytime because it's completely open source and copyright free. Uh, MPV is pretty cool. I've played with it recently. Um, it's a very nice lightweight player. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording until the installation is completed so you guys don't have to watch all this. We'll see once uh, Budgie has loaded what Budgie is all about. All right, installation is completed. Let's restart and see what we end up with. Okay, we're dropped off at this uh, pretty nice looking um, login screen. Let's go ahead and log in. All right, we have this really pretty time on the bottom there. It, it almost looks like kind of like the best of what I've seen with Conky. That's pretty neat. I love this welcome that we have here. I always love when a desktop has something like that. Gnome has something like that. I believe some distros that use KDE have something like this, and it just teaches people exactly um, how to use it and get the most out of it, which is great. So let's take a look here at browser ballot. Oh, this is really cool. So um, I think this comes from the European Union. I believe they have um, Microsoft has to do something like this in order to not, uh, you know, because of what they did back in the day uh, with Internet Explorer. And I love this. I love that they're like, hey, here's all the browsers you can have. You just start it up, just pick one. Instead of just saying, oh, the internet is just what comes with my computer. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it um, at Firefox, but it's really cool here. They basically have all the major browsers and a couple of small ones. So it's, that's awesome. I love that. All right, let's go back. Customization. Right, so it tells you exactly how to get to the settings. All right, look at that. Oh, this is cool. So it tells me I could have better language support. I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. Very cool, very slick. I really, really like the way this is designed. This is awesome. More distros, more desktop environments need something like this. This is great. Yeah, this looks pretty similar to um, Gnome's settings um, dialogues. All right, let's go back. Ooh, keyboard shortcuts. Always great when someone tells you these instead of having to find them. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this. Um, the amount of people that don't know so many of the shortcuts that can make life easier for them on Windows or in Word or any computer. The amount of people that I see go all the way up to edit, copy, edit, paste. All right. So we've got kind of lets you know right away that you have to be you have to check for updates. That's good. Um, some people might not be used to that if they're coming from a more monolithic, um, a more monolithic operating system like Windows. And we've got these restricted extras. I like that it kind of tells you about that right away. I shouldn't need any drivers. Yeah, see, because I'm not on a real computer, I'm on a VM. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead to the optional tasks. I wanna see what those are. Oh, very cool. I like that they help you configure backups right away. That's such an important thing that many people forget. Um, the firewall, very good. And then we've got users, so we can set up user accounts. This is perfect. Exactly what a brand new user to this. I'm gonna say, yeah, let's see what that looks like. But a brand new user to this desktop or to Linux, this is exactly what they need to know. This is amazing and I love it. 
then we've got definitely a very uh, Mac OS like dock on the bottom here. <laughs> Rhythm box kind of looks like uh, the uh, British guy from Portal 2. Okay. Very neat. All right, let's see, what does this do over here? It's the, these two dots. Ah, these are your workspaces, okay. Just showing you a scroll to change them. And then what's in each one? Excellent. Oh, that's cool. They have a notes application just built in right there. Okay, so this should be a quick way to get to any of your important folders. Very nice. Okay. All right, overall this looks Great. Oh, it already, it's already installing the updates. That's great there. And if I click up here, we see our menu, I believe. Yep. Okay. So we're able to type here with all the different types of programs they have. As I mentioned in the video where I was taking a look at various versions of KDE, various ways that distros package KDE, um, I mentioned that usually I just type the um, name of the program that I want to start rather than searching through a menu. However, I am not a fan of the GNOME style of just having everything just thrown in here uh, willy-nilly. I think if you are looking for something, it's a lot easier when they're included in categories. And I think for first-time users, or people who are not used to um, the programs you might have on there. I think it helps to have categories at least at first and eventually they can learn to type as they go. I do like the background, it's very pretty and I think that first impressions are very important. Um, and yeah, so my first impression here so let's see so this is oh oh hey look at that wow they read my mind and I would say the only bad thing being that you have to play around and discover but I love that it's here by categories I take back everything I said wow okay excellent so I'm gonna say that I think this is a very well thought out desktop environment I would give this to someone who I was introducing to Linux for the first time. It seems to have all the spit and polish, especially if they're coming from the Mac world. Um, this is this is great. Um, I can't believe I've never heard of this before. Um, I'm, I kind of don't really follow Linux news as much nowadays because I found the distro I like and I found the programs I like. And there's only so much time in the day for all the different hobbies I have, but this is really, really neat. I'm gonna definitely be exploring Budgie a lot more in the future and seeing if I recommend it to people when they talk to me about possibly switching away from a proprietary OS, uh, or even if they, let's say they wanna use Windows or Mac, and that's fine, I use Windows for video games, um, but if they want to then be able to um, say have Linux on a laptop or in a VM for work or for play, for running servers, I'm definitely going to be recommending Budgie as a GUI for people that need GUIs. This has been really enlightening and really cool. I'm glad I decided to check this out. All right, I'll be seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.